the same draft analysts who completely screwed up who was going to be one, two, three, four, five back in 2018 when Bake went number one. With that in mind, let's see if we can connect dots to 2023 and see who is the Baker Mayfield of this draft. Five QBs could go in the first round. Which one of these guys is Josh Rosen and which one of these guys is Josh Allen? I feel like physically Richardson, you know, he matches up with Josh Allen size-wise. And then the knock on him is uh, accuracy not always there. I'll start with saying my Josh Allen is Richardson. So do you put the short guy in this draft as your Baker Mayfield? Yes. I Listen, <laughs> Drew Brees is good, but there remains a track record for guys that are, that are that small. Like Bryce Young doesn't run like even Russ does. I mean, he's slipped. I guess that's the best comp for him, actually, as a runner, is Russ. Yeah, I'm not in love with the idea. I know he's super smart and, and lethally accurate and all that, but Darnold was the most NFL ready. And that seems to be Stroud this year. Yeah, and I if agree somebody with told that. you, hey, you can have, if you draft Stroud, you'll have Sam Darnold's career, they'd go, well, that's terrible. So now we have we have Levis and Hooker. One of those guys has to be Josh Rosen. I already feel bad. And then the other one has to be Lamar. I think Levis is our Lamar Jackson here. There will be some percentage of teams spooked by him. This only leaves poor Hendon Hooker as Josh Rosen. Mm. You know, it's, this was an imperfect uh, idea when I pitched it. But this is what's crazy about Hooker. His statistics are, are I tell you, they are identical to Joe Burrow's in college. I would roll the dice at, at 36, at 34. You know, Lamar won MVP. You might get the best or 1A out of the draft by waiting.